Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another slightly overdue review. Uh, I've had this for a few days now. Uh, I hope you caught uh, Fax Boxing Outdoor. He did uh, a, uh, a May Mystery Tackle Box Elite uh, unboxing himself. Um, uh, yesterday, two days ago, I got this. Three days ago, I got this. He did his yesterday. So uh, let's see what I got. Hopefully it's a little bit different than his. Um, I've seen one or two actual reviews for the Mystery Tackle Box Elite for this month, but sometimes I get little, you know, slightly different lures, different color patterns. We will see. So there we go. <clears throat> I see some nice stuff on top. Let's see what we got. We've got ourselves um, the feature bait today. We've got ourselves a spinner bait from the Cycle Bait from 10,000 Fish, which is a Catchco uh, brand. So we're going to have our Cycle Bait swim bait, or it's going to be spinner bait, uh, Colorado and a willow leaf bladed bait in here somewhere. Let's see what else we got. Somewhere here should be a card all the way at the bottom. Oh, that's a great place for it. Oh, Lord, all the paperwork's at the bottom. I'm trying not to trying my best not to uh, screw the pooch on, on the surprise. We got our what's in the box card, black one, loaded top to bottom there, so that's good. We got a good number of baits, we'll check that out in a second. We've got our Carl's Dibble magazine, which is always cool. We got ourselves a, a new pamphlet, a lot better than getting those little dibbles that I got in all the retail boxes and whatnot that ended up being like nine of the exact same pamphlet, so it's it's nice to have some new uh, text. Got ourselves a Optimum Swim Bait, so we're going to get ourselves, looks like a little rubber or a soft plastic swim bait in there. That's cool. So that's another feature bait that we should see somewhere in this box. And our decal for the day, <clears throat> our monthly sticker, Tree Pounder. Uh, <laughs> we've all caught our Tree Pounders. I've had a, quite a few... Branch bass, twig tarpon, log lunkers. <laughs> we, we've all hit them over time. If you're an angler and you're a, a bank fisherman, if you're a river fisherman, um, yeah, you, you've definitely caught a few twigs and trees and leaves in your in your time. So let's start. We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Ten baits and lures and items in this month. So uh, let's break into it. Start on the top, we've got our Strike Pro Cranky XSS. So let's see, you got a Strike Pro. That's not it. Strike Pro. There we go. Look for the black. So from Strike Pro, the Cranky XSS 75F in Wagon Hasu. So, Wagon Hasu is the name of the color of the bait. Uh, this is a 2 and 5, uh, 15 sixteenths length, uh, 13 sixteenths of an ounce in weight. It's an odd number. It dives 0 to th 3 feet, 0 to 0 0.3 feet. So it's a wake bait. So we've got ourselves a nice little Strike Pro wake bait. 0 to point, point 0.3 is our depth. Point 0.3. So 3 inches, I guess. I'll give you a close up there. You see, 0 to point 0.3 is our depth. <clears throat> so we got ourselves a nice, very shimmery wake bait. Obviously, that wake bait bill. Great. 
Great time of year to be throwing weight baits, top waters, spooks, poppers, chuggers, um, uh, whopper ploppers. Obviously, springtime temperatures, waters in the 60s, high, high mid 60s. There is a knocker in there. Very faint, very faint, but just enough to give you a little bit of a of a, a knock. Not bad. I do like the color. I like the little blue accent you have on the gill plate here. It's got a little uh, green back, but mostly that shine and shimmer on the side as you're waking this back and forth across the water. Definitely going to uh, going to give off a good amount of glimmer and glare. I like that. They post that at $10.49 for the Strike Pro Cranky XSS. Next, Optimum. Optimum Original Swim Baits we have for $8.99. Optimum, and that coincides with our little card here. So we got ourselves a soft plastic Innovation Design Performance. Uh, 5 eighths of an ounce in Chameleon is the color. Sort of like a root beer gold, but it's got a little green hue and, and shimmer in there and some silver flake. I like that. They call it the chameleon. I do like the eyes in there. Um, they have that again for $8. And it says the recommendations for this are a 6.6 six to 7.6 six medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, it can be swum or can be fished on a bait cast or spinning. And they recommend 6 to 12 pound line. Uh, with your floral carbon or a 15 to 20 pound braid. I don't think you would need 20 pound braid on this. It does have a stout hook. I would worry uh, about that bending out. I mean, it's a decent looking hook, but uh, I don't know if I would uh, run 20 pound braid on it. Maybe 10 or 12 pound braid or 15 if you're in a lot of grass, um, just so you have the horsing power to, to pull it out. But I like the idea of 6 to 12 floral carbon on this. And I think from what I've seen, the way this is designed, I'm not going to open it up because it's going in our Christmas in July giveaway. But from what I can recall somehow hearing about this, the design of this is when you're tied onto the line, it swivels, it pivots at this point in the, in the weight so that the body will drop down, the hook will then pin itself, and the body will be out of the way of the hook so it doesn't give any leverage to wrench the uh, the bait out of the fish's mouth, so that's going to go in uh, in our in our swim our giveaway for Christmas in July. I hope somebody can get some uh, good use out of that. Uh, next up, put that card away. We have from Ten Thousand Fishes that cycle bait. I have one of these already. I don't know if I have it in this color. Again, this was an interesting design from Ten Thousand Fishes. Instead of your typical spitter bait having a straight wire, uh, a set of beads, and then a swivel for the um, for the willow leaf blade at the top, the way they have this designed, it is like a chain link uh, setup connecting the blade to the armature. And as I stated in my first review, or the first one I got it. I think the the aspect of this is as the blade locks up, it'll pivot that uh, that head back and forth. Now it does have like a free swinging head also, so that kind of counters the torque as well to give it a little to make sure that you know your bait doesn't completely roll over and blow out. Um, I mean, it is a really really odd engineering design. Um, I have to be honest, I haven't had my chance to swim and fish. Uh, this particular style of bait yet, the one I, I previously got. Um, I am very much interested in seeing what kind of action it truly does give off underwater. Like I said, I haven't had the opportunity to take it out yet. But I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying it out and see what it's like. It might actually show something very much unique comparative to other people running their standard spinner baits. Um, during that time, during shelf season, etc. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see how it plays. It's just an interesting design, um, and who, who, who knows? $8.49 for the Cyclobate. Uh, Vexen Lures, they have the Verne's Stone Roller. So, yeah, definitely another deep diving uh, crankbait. 
There's the Vexen's Stone Roller. <clears throat> Vexen is a hit or miss company. Sometimes they have some really great baits. I do love their paint schemes and their designs, but uh, they have been known to have issues with their um, their baits actually running true, and they aren't exactly something that you can tune very easily to get them to uh, to have the proper action. But they are one of the higher quality paint color companies. Um, you know, their their patterns are awesome. Uh, it's just sometimes their baits don't. Uh, don't perform as well as they really, I think, should. Uh, with that said, this one's in the thumper color, which is basically a, a bluegill pattern. Um, definitely going to enjoy casting that out. The uh, the Vexen they want for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a ten foot diver, half ounce bait, so that's a pretty deep deep diver for where I am. Um, if I go out in the boat, I'll definitely be able to have no problems, but. Uh, from shore, that could be a bit of an issue. I'm more like the four to six foot uh, from shore, uh, but uh, 10 foot's probably out off a boat. Uh, again, that was $7.99. Next, Lunker Hunt's Poppin' Bug. Now, this is interesting. I wonder if this is... Okay, ooh. All right, I have some very similar Lunker Hunt baits. I've never gotten one of these. So this is a first. Half ounce, two and three quarter inches. Soft body, soft body. Oop, oh, my hook fell out. Okay, this is different. All right, I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Oh, crap. All righty. That's probably where that came from. So we have our EWG hook and a soft body popping frog style, long tails, but done like the... Uh, Lunker Hunt's Jitterbug uh, style bait um, with that same bug design, but instead of having the soft, pliable wings, like, uh, there, hold on one second, I'll be right back, and I'll get one out of the old box, I know. So, instead of having the soft, pliable winglets, like the Jitterbug style with the frog hooks, this one is the same basic body design, uh, but with a popping cup head, no winglets, and it comes with uh, just your standard EWG to rig it. It does have a body slit, a hook slit. So I basically, I suppose you go down through, put it through the center of the mouth, and pop it up, weedless style. That is very interesting. Very interesting. Never seen that coming, never thought that would come. That is... Uh, that's going to be a unique bait come uh, next couple of weeks. Top water's coming back. Again, the Brood X every, I want to say every 17 years. I know in the last video I said something like every 50 years. But I think it's every every 10 to seven, 10 to 20 years. Um, the cicada come out of their underground burrows. And the northeast, the central, southern Louisiana area, uh, they just get overrun by these noisy, obnoxious creatures. And like I said, I have quite a few baits like this one that mimic and imitate um, cicada. I got the soft plastic uh, pompadour style from Chase Baits recently. Um, that is supposed to be an exact cicada dialogue. Again, the softer bodies give the fish the impression that they're actually biting into an insect. Um, these things, I think, are going to be game changers and absolute killers out there this year uh, when they start coming out of those haunts this summer and driving us nuts with their annoying constant chirping. This little guy right here uh, from Lunker Hunt for $6.99, the Lunker Hunt Popping Bug, might also add to that. Uh, the color on this one is charcoal. I think uh, for a half ounce little bait, I like it. I like it. I'm going to have fun throwing that top water time. Next, Kalen's Tickle Tail. Kalen Lures... Tickle tail. That's a bruiser bait. Ah, Kalen's. All right. So we got some soft plastic in 3.8 inch. Sunny is the color. It's an Acme company. Acme tackle company. And you have a soft plastic swim bait with these interesting little 
bobble similar to um oh i can't think of the name not the venus flytrap but i think it's the honeydew plant or honey something um that is a another one of those carnivorous uh plants that have these little tiny little bobbles of the dew drop plant maybe something like that um but they they're covered in a sticky sweet uh like residue and that tracks flies and then of course once they get stuck to them the plant uh has digestive juices and eats the fly so that's kind of interesting they have that same kind of bob barble on the sides of the swim bait it's got your typical paddle tail there on the back end lots of action very soft pliable definitely interesting love love this design sunny's the color it's kind of like a green pumpkin auburn amber color i like that that I'm definitely going to enjoy. I'm going to have fun with that. I'm going to see how, how well that produces Texas Rig. Definitely. I need to get more swim bait time out, more soft plastics, uh, flukes, and swim baits. I just haven't been pushing paddle tails that much. Um, this year I've been focused mostly on hard baits, crank baits, jerk baits. Uh, so I now that the water's definitely warmed up, I think I'm going to start going more to the flukes and stuff. Um, that Kalen's Tickle Tail, $4.99. Four more lures to go. The Bruiser Baits, another great bait. I love these. I love the um, the Senkos with the colored tip tails because there's so much you can do with these. So we've got the Bruiser Baits Stick Worm in light green pumpkin blue tip, color 111. What I love about any of these that have these colored tips, a lot of times I'll put dip it, uh, dip and die, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that, or spike it's, and... Uh, the great thing is you can you can run this wacky style, you can use it Texas rigged, you can run it on a drop shot, um, and also if you want to, you can cut it off and run it as a little Ned rig. Um, you know, it, there's a million uses, especially when they have that that little teaser color. Blue is not common for me. Most of the time, it's going to be chartreuse or red. So this is interesting that I can add a blue color tail to my uh, to my arsenal. Seven count. I want to see where it's, what's the length on these. Uh, eight inch maybe. Yeah, six inch. I'll say six inch. Uh, six inch stick worms. Seven count, not bad. And the Bruiser Baits stick worms are four dollars and sixty nine cents. Not bad. Full seven count pack. That's not a bad, uh, not a bad deal right there. Next up, we have from Netbait, the Contour Worm. Well, this is interesting. Okay, I think I have these, or I have similar to this. So if I am correct, these are kind of like pyramid shaped. They're not quite an octagon. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a flat pour bait. And because the way they're flat poured, they're kind of keeled. So if you see right there, so there's the rounded bottom, flat poured, and because of the pour, they're kind of keeled like a V, flat on top. They have these little tiny ribs down the side, and when you get to the back, it makes this really interesting, like, T, T shape, almost like a aluminum box or aluminum angle. You have the flat top, and it's just kind of teed out. That's great. Um, nose hooked, drop shot. I think this will work well, especially on the way down as it's trailing down. That, that flat panel on the tail is bound to give you a rock and a quiver. Um, that's cool. I like that. 4.75 inches long. They're coloring this uh, green pumpkin magic. It's a 10-count pack. And they want, for the net baits, $4.29. Now, that's really good price for 10 uh, little four and, a, uh, four and three quarter inch worms. Again, worms are always a mainstay bait. Uh, they, they work all year round in all kinds of different uh, cases. Next up, next to last, actually, we have the Fish Oi, Fish Ohoy, F-I-S-H-O-E-Y. So, Fish Oi, Lures. And this is their Dodger Pump. Dodger Pup. So D-O-G-G-E-R-P-U-P. -P. 
Dodger pup. So this is a sample pack. Mystery tackle box. I hate sample packs. Uh, let alone a lesser known name. Proudly made in America. That's a good good thing. Fishoylures.com. And it's a basic uh, Tickler Tail Cinco. I call them Tickler Tails. This is like the style of bait that I actually use on my jackhammers other than my curly tail. Um, if I'm fishing like a fluke style bait for a fish profile rather than the, cur the curly tail grubs that I like to use when I'm trying to really get more action. If I'm going to do something on a jackhammer because the way it vibrates so rapidly, I try to go to... To baits that have just this tiny straight tail, little tickler tail, as opposed to a paddle tail, uh, which I won't use on my jackhammer chatter baits. Um, again, this looks like to be a hand poured bait. Mm, decently durable plastic. Uh, it's not a company that I'm aware of, obviously. It's an interesting design. So you have your true rounded worm, runs all the way back, I'm going to say five eighths of the length of the bait. And these final three eighths, um, it's almost like a flat pour. So that the, the rounded part stops right here at this segment. And then all of a sudden, if you can catch in the eye, it becomes flat. So it's flat on top. It's still round on the sides, but it's flat on top and sort of flatter on the bottom as well. You can see right there, you can catch the, the light, how it uh, reflects off of the flat side that side and this side. So that's an interesting uh, little design. Uh, the fisheye lure pop-ups, $2.95. Again, uh, oh, again, this is only a four pack. So $2.95, $3, you call it, for four baits. It's, you know, that's a little pricey per each lure. Um, you know, almost a dollar a lure is kind of, I don't know. If it was, if it was Four dollars and you got six of them. I'd be happier than three dollars and getting four of them. Let's just put it that way. Um, and again, a name brand, a brand that I'm not very accustomed to. But uh, we'll see. It could be the next, uh, the next big thing. Finally, as with most MTB boxes, we got ourselves some terminal tackle. In this case, we've got a three pack of the Harmony hooks. Always happy to have some more EWGs, especially with that bug. You know, if I lose the, the hook, bends out, what have you and the lure itself survives, I can grab one of these and throw that on. I can use this for any one of those Senkos. Um, that's nice. And of course, the uh, the little dog or sunnies, I can use that on those uh, sunny baits. So that's it for this month. So once and final, the Strike Pro Cranky X Deep Diver, 1049. The Optimum's original swim baits, not bad, uh, 899. The 10,000 fish cycle bait, which I haven't had a chance to try myself yet, that's 849. Vex and Stone Roller, hit or miss uh, bait company, hit or miss bait, 799. Lunker Hunt popping bug, I'm really interested in seeing how that operates. Um, I love pop poppers. Uh, that's going to be 699. The Kalen's Tickle Tail for 499. Bruiser bait stick worms with those awesome colors, I like those. Um, the color tips, those are 649. The Net Baits Contour Worms, $4.29. The Fish Ahoy Lures Dodger Pup, Dogger Pup, or Dodger Pup is uh, $2.95. And finally, those Harmony Hooks, once again, $1.99 for a three-pack. That's it for this month. I don't really recall, because it's been a day or two since I watched the other uh, unboxing. I don't know if I got the same baits, all the same baits. I know I got some similar ones. I know that the Vexen Lure was in Bass Boxings. I know the... Um, I believe the bug was in bass boxings, and I think the hooks were. I don't know if any of the other baits were in both of our uh, unboxings. Um, oh, and I do believe the uh, I do believe the the wake bait was also in his. Uh, that being said, tell me what do you think? Were any of these a surprising bait to you? I think the net baits, contour worms, I've had similar before, but these Kalins, these Kalins are absolutely out of this world. I've never never fished a bait with that kind of a, of a profile with those extra little funny things on the side. So I'm really, really honestly interested in seeing how this guy operates uh, underwater. 
I mean, I don't think that these little balls are going to displace that much water to cause some crazy action, but I think that might add just enough of a flutter. Again, just to be honest, those uh, chase baits, the love bug, and the um, uh, flip flop, I mean, what really caught my eye was that squid style uh, ventings on both sides, those little leaves on each side that, that would add that flutter as it would go as you drop it down. So this could be the same kind of gimmick, uh, the same kind of uh, glimmer and shimmer, um, just in a different style to get the same effect. So I'm interested in seeing that. Again, as always, I appreciate y'all spending time with me. Uh, definitely like this video if you did like it. Subscribe. I see a lot of you uh, watch these and really aren't subscribed and hit that bell notification so that you're knowing when I post my next video. Uh, as always, from me to you, tight lines, and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast, Hookaholics. Peace.